Good morning, everybody. I'm back, and this time I'm going to take a look at a couple different builds. The first one is going to be a Transcendent Monk slash Cypher. I had like four, three or four, maybe five people ask for this specific uh, combination, and I guess it never occurred to me to try it, really, so I'm trying it now. And uh, I did a little test run earlier, and it went um, very well. So I think you'll be pleased with this combination. Um, I did go with Shattered Pillar. I know a few people had some specific requests, and uh, I I didn't I didn't like. I don't know about some of the cipher subclasses with this with this combination. So I just didn't. I went with a nice vanilla no you know no subclasses, no drawbacks, no penalties, no bonuses. But I do like the Shattered Pillar uh, philosophy because. As a cipher, you want to do as much damage as you can to generate focus. And if you're the Shattered Pillar, you're going to use all the damage you're trying to deal so that you're generating wounds. In fact, nothing beats a good offense for defense. So, like, dealing a lot of damage is just going to take your enemies out faster as well. So, I like this combination uh, quite a lot. I put um, extra points in Biting Whip to do additional damage. Uh, I think that's reflected over here. Yeah, right there it is. Um, I'm using clubs right now, and an interesting thing about clubs is, even with exceptional clubs, while well, my accuracy is a little bit higher with them, watch my damage with my fists. Seven extra damage. Um, that's a lot of damage. And I, I, I know all the recovery time on these clubs, well, when I have them equipped, is very high, thanks to two weapon style. You're going to see that I attack with my fist very, very fast. So, with leather armor on, anyway. Um, I also picked up Swift Strikes, upgraded to Lightning Strikes. Um, I picked up Force of Anguish, um, uh, which is a good way to dump wounds. In fact, one of the failings, I think, in the beta at least, I don't know if they'll change this for the full version, but I, I feel like the monk needs maybe one more wound spender uh, like around tier two, because there's there's not a lot of offensive stuff you can pick up that you can pick up there, but we'll see how it goes. I'm sure the I'm sure that the the skill trees uh, at release will look uh, different, at least a little bit for some glasses and a lot for others um, when the game launches. And I picked up wound turning because I love the I have flavor behind it. Although <laughs> the uh, enemies we'll be facing are actually going to be not really melee, but I picked up some. Uh, range damage for my uh, Cypher Mental Psionic abilities, mind, Mental Binding for crowd control, and some Soul Ignition for some damage over time. Some significant damage over time. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's take a look and see what we can do. Um, well, if I, man, let's just go up here and fight these guys. I fought these guys once. They're creepy and fun. Uh, okay, so let's get in there, get this going. Look at that. Punch, punch. Just didn't like 50, 40, 40, 40, 50 killed him. That's just, that's amazing to me. Okay, so now he's got tons of focus. Let's paralyze this guy. And let's go over here and take care of this grub. Here, let's, let's, bind, let's burn this guy. Alright, let's try and take this guy out. Is my Swift Strikes gone? It is. Alright, we need to take these little guys out as fast as we can. Come on, auto-attack, do your thing. Heal. Alright, let's... Uh, is this burning still on him? It's not. Let's paralyze him. Look, I have, I have focus for days. Let's paralyze this guy, too. Burn this guy again. Swift strikes. No, get this guy. Okay, and then here, let's um, let's do this. Knocks him down. Activate blade turning. I don't know if it'll do any good or not, but well, that was a jerk move. Okay. Uh, if I was one of those, um, there's a there's a run of the races you can use that. Um, let's. And just guy with some burn. Oh, let's do this. Boom. Uh, how are we doing on? Well, we might as well paralyze this guy first. Mental paralyze, and then so strikes. 
and let me finish him off very quickly. Look at that. Yeah, I really thought this was a great combination. Um, I mean, there's so many different cool cipher powers you can you could have picked, uh, and even some different passes that might be even better. But I I really like this build. Um, lots of fun. Uh, very easy to. Uh, use and a lot of micromanagement just sort of keeping your abilities up which of course you could use a script for um, Yeah, so I think that worked out really well, and I hope you enjoyed the transcendent so uh, Okay, well hold on. I'm gonna put a pause in here because I have a second Build to show off that I was playing with last night uh, also by request a couple different requests. So one moment All right, I'm back and now I wanted to look at a Scout, which is a rogue and a ranger combination. Um, <clears throat> I have recorded this a couple different times, so bear with me if I'm rushing through this a little bit. Um, uh, a couple different times I've, I've just like biffed and lost by a fight that I wasn't paying attention to enough because I was talking too much or any number of other factors. So here we are, take like, I don't know, 40 or whatever the hell I'm at. So, okay. Let's talk briefly about the build. Uh, I wanted to do a Street Fighter Rogue. I know a few people ask for like Trickster and some other things. I like Trickster Rogues a lot, but to me, Trickster Rogues are ranged rogues um, because a lot of their spells uh, work best, you know, like confusing enemies and things like that defensively. Um, and uh, I feel like that would be a great combination. Not the only combination, but, but a good combination with something like a... Um, like a ranged ranger, perhaps. But I wanted to try my hand a stalker, uh, which was also requested by a few people. And the stalker, it, to me, is a uh, kind of melee ranger that fights shoulder to shoulder with his companion. Uh, and on that on that note, I picked up a um, a lion, Remo Skegmo, who will be um, very very high damage, especially against sneak attack targets. So. Um, I kind of wanted to focus on that a little bit. On a side note, um, I like Ghost Heart normally because you can kind of summon your guy and just there he is. Um, the, the the bonus of the um, uh, Stalker is that I, uh, you get a deflection armor rating bonus when you're close to each other, which is really cool, I think. However, I have noticed that... Where's it at? Heal Companion. This is garbage. 25 health? That's like a third or fourth of their health. And it takes like an eternity when your animals hurt. Um, oh wait, you know what? I just noticed this is per three seconds. So it's 50 health, I guess? Eh, I'm still not that impressed, I guess. But I should maybe remember to cast it earlier, I suppose. Still, I think that should be buffed up considering how, how horrible it is when your uh, companion drops. You get that uh, separation anxiety, you get bonded grief. Uh, is that going to give me a thing about what it is? Here we go, right there. Um, lower might, lower resolve, lower accuracy. So, uh, Ghost Heart can't heal, but he doesn't have to because his, he can summon his animal and then it just does its thing and then goes away. If it dies, no big deal. I mean, well, not no big deal, but you don't get a, a penalty for it. Although, I, they, don't, they don't have a duration that lasts like a whole fight typically either. So, there's some give and take there. I just I like the stalker a lot uh, conceptually. I, I do I would like to see a, a better, a more healing abilities. Well, as I say that, I guess if I was in a whole party, you know, I might have like another guy that can heal there too. Um, okay, so anyway, uh, what I've done here is I've built a character who is going to deal a tremendous amount of damage with a one-handed weapon, tons of accuracy because of that, um, and we're just gonna just gonna get in real close and backstab somebody. And um, start the fight with that. Okay, let's do this. Wow, that's a lot of damage. That killed him. Okay, so that guy, that guy's dead. Um, all right, let's um, let's go over here and fight this guy next. We couldn't get a flank on that guy. Let's try and walk. Oh, he's paralyzed. Shoot. Okay, let's blind this guy. Now he's flanked and blinded, so we should be able to do a lot of damage with our companion, our lion. Yep, he did 20 damage. Okay, well that worked out pretty good. Let's get around behind this guy here. We're getting lucky because that priest is an attack, isn't casting any spells. 
Let's knock this corrupted tiger down. This missing string 500. Okay, that was good. And, and we knock him down. Um, let's wounding shot him because this if he's taking if he's got a damage over time effect on him, the line will do even more damage. There we go. Quite a bit more damage. Um, over penetration, merciless companion. The predator senses what he gains for damage bonus when facing an enemy who's taking damage over time, like from a wounding shot. So this guy, this guy has a lot of health. Jeez. Uh, let's um, let's cripple him so he's got oh, some damage over time on him from that as well, which synergizes well with predator sense. That way, no matter if you have uh, if you're out of you know one point, you can use the other one. Okay, let's heal him. Keep on this guy. This guy is a pro. I should have taken him out first. He's in a pillar. Oh, wait. I don't know how much time. He's probably going to be able to do that before I can stop him, but I'll try. I will try in Arterial Strike to interrupt that. Nope. No way. I did hobble him and I'm, he'll start bleeding. There we go. Oh, he withdrew him. That was a jerk move. Alright, let's see if I can do anything else. He's almost dead. Get him. Nope, oh, jeez. Okay. There we go. And now we just gotta wait for this uh, guy who's in a protective cocoon healing to... Ugh, he's healing a lot. It's a, this is a really good spell. I always forget to use that spell. Well, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll also heal. Okay. All right, come out whenever you're ready. There he goes. All right. Uh, and now I do have so my ability is back too. God, he, did he interrupt me? He did. That's pretty cool. Okay, a lot of damage. Let's try and knock him down, and then we'll try and make him bleed from this. Effect. There we go. Okay, and. Yep, just gotta stab him. I think we got this, but so that's that was that worked out just like I was, like I was hoping. Um, in fact, down south of me, there's a whole bunch of Zaropes around here. And yesterday, I actually cleared the entire camp out with just these guys, just this build. Um, and it was really hard, uh, but it worked, and it was very satisfying. A lot of fun. So yeah, I like the scout build a lot. Um, like I said, I kind of went with Stalker and Street Fighter for the faster. Um, heating up recovery times, but uh, you you could definitely do a couple different things with this um, with this combination of class. So all right, well um, that was a look at the scout. Uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little demonstration, and if you did, um, please hit uh, the old subscribe button. I uh, I love getting an email from YouTube that I have a new subscriber. It really warms up my heart. So, all right. Thanks again, guys.